Hello everyone, Ecotech here and in this video I want to show you how the automated microgreen project is going. So you can see that I have two shelves running with, uh, well three trays, the third tray of this one is up there. And under, I have a bit more hydroponic ongoing where it's uh, actually, uh, I need to handle this because it's, it's uh, well you can see the basil is lacking nutrients because the uh, the water is low and all the plants are too big so I have to switch them to bigger pots and the mint lacks a bit of light but anyways um, the system has been ongoing for a few weeks and it was going terrifically I was actually really excited and really happy two days ago because everything was going flawlessly I did not touch anything after uh, planting these seeds two weeks ago However, uh, yesterday morning there was an incident with the farm where basically the uh, automated uh, electronics that control the lights, that control the fans and as well the watering did not uh, function. So it got stuck in a loop and in this loop it was in the day mode where both lights, were, well all the lights that needed were on but they didn't turn on during the night I think and the main problem is that the following morning the watering system so you can see here the I have the intake of the shelf and there I have the drain uh, the, the bell siphon drain and yesterday the watering system didn't kick in and this resulted in my radishes to well, you can see they're not dead, but they're not doing fine, and and the other crops uh, survived a bit better. So, I'm currently I've ordered a new board for these electronics to make the hardware a bit more reliable, and I'll, I'll need also as well to work on the software because it's not the first time this has happened. But apart from these electronics, the watering system, uh, as far as the watering and the drain the flood and drain system should i call it uh, works really well so you can see that on the shelf there's seeds seed hulls going and if we look there uh, if it focuses there's some sunflower seeds and is there any debris here no but you can see roots what i was afraid was that as this was running the system would get clogged with debris like this so I've intentionally not uh, paid extra careful to not create debris actually I did the opposite where I would shake the seeds and instead of throwing them in the garbage I would put them on the side so you can see there's some over here of the sunflowers and I wanted to see how the bell siphon would handle it and how my reservoir were, would handle it and as you can see the water is a bit yellow that's due to the fact that I'm uh, I'm not using soil I'm using hemp and hemp actually uh, discolors a bit my my water and in addition to the yellow water you see that there are some pak choy in there and at the bottom these black spots over there behind the bubbles are uh, seed hulls so some pak choy and I do not see sunflower um, seed hulls in there but uh, this shows that the the flood and drain and the bell siphon are handling the debris fairly well and once I'm done with growing uh, a, a shelf I can quickly just remove it and clean it if it needs so the the big debris the seed holes get stuck here and small ones get in the reservoir which I can change more regularly another thing I've added in uh, the reservoir is bubbles to try and mitigate a bit of algae growth that I've had in the past but now basically I change the reservoir every time I plant microgreens and have not had any uh, algae issues so far since I've done that now on the top shelf I'm running the Ecotech lights uh, they are running with this loud power supply right now that's kicking the fan is kicking and you can see that it's 113 watts which is um, which is about the max well not the max but close to the max power these uh, these lights can take and if I touch them they're actually warm but they're not hot to the touch I can pick them up and it's fine. 
Uh, well, they're a bit hot, but they're not burning hot. So these lights can handle it. However, when we look at the plants, you can see that these pak choy are a bit yellow and there are some signs of burnt leaves. And uh, this is very evident on the sunflower. So if we look at the sunflower, they're not doing so well. Also, please excuse me, these uh, sunflowers should have been harvested a few days ago, so they're they're uh, late, a bit too big, but as well, you can see that the light is burning them. So this shows me that these Ecotech lights are more than, pow more than uh, powerful enough to handle microgreens. And actually, I need to run them either uh, at lower power or I will just reduce the number of bars on a shelf, which should reduce the cost. On the other shelf, on this shelf, you can see the Barina LEDs. Uh, well, not, yes, it's LEDs, but the Barina lights. The sunflowers are a bit leggy, as well as basically all of them are a bit leggy. And they've grown well, uh, but leggy. I'll harvest them and eat them. Now, what else and should I discuss? Oh, yeah, I've been playing around with 3D printing these parts, and this part fits pretty well so size 1.3 and what it is is basically a clip that clips on the shelf and if we look from the top you can see that there's like small arms and these are meant to fit cables so I'll be able to to do a bit better of a wire management job so if we take this example I could route the Barina light uh, wires like this and I could have multiple of these around the shelf and it would it would help with the wire management. So I'm pretty excited about uh, installing all of those on and uh, cleaning up all of this. There's also a new design for the uh, solenoid where I'll have uh, ribbon cables and a cleaner design so, so this wiring mess will also get sorted. The, the uh, Hmm, how do you call it? The drain system is very clean. I'm really happy with it. You can just unhook it there and remove it and remove the shelf. Actually, let me show you how a shelf removal works. Let me put the camera down. Is it? Let me turn this light off so I can see. Okay, let, let me show you how I can quickly uh, remove and put back a shelf. So you remove this part the uh, intake and I can now that I've removed the, uh, the bell siphon I can just take the shelf and put it wherever or clean it and once it's done I can put a new one put it back here put back the, the drain bell siphon clip it to the bottom take back the, in, the uh, input water and put it back there we go and uh, this I love it. I love this, the aspect that I can just take them out, go in my kitchen and clean the whole shelf very quickly, easily in a big sink. I think this wraps it up. Actually, no, no. Last thing to showcase, people have been asking me how do I uh, control humidity. Right now I have a humidifier that's set to 50% and so that's how the humidity is controlled and under here you can see I have a fan over there and another fan in the back where they also get triggered every, I think it's every two hours they get triggered. In addition, there's an intake here for, if we, trust me, on the top there, there's a, well, there's a towel, but there's also a filter, an air filter uh, that removes a bit of the smell. It's a carbon filter. So these uh, humidifier, the fans and the filter are basically what allows me to keep this environment fairly uh, controlled and I can just play with the lighting and see how the plants take it. So I'm really excited and happy to see that this is moving forward. It's getting cleaner. I'm having to spend less time attending the crops and the whole system is handling them fairly well. So thanks for watching. If you stuck until now, please drop a like. I really appreciate it. And if you have any comments, remarks, drop them down in the comments and I'll be really happy and glad to, to reply to you. Thanks. Take care. Bye.